Hello everyone and welcome to Midlands 103's Next Gen College and Career Expo. I'm joined on the stage right now by Claire O'Connor from RCSI, so the University of Medicine and Health Sciences. Claire, how are you today? Good, thank you. How are you? Good, thank you. So, Claire, getting into medicine in Ireland, can yes. you talk us through this a bit? Yeah, of course. Um, so, for students who are in school and looking to apply to medicine, through the CAO, I suppose there's a few things that they need to know. First of all, there's five undergraduate medical schools in Ireland. Okay. Um, so they'll offer either a six year or a five year medicine program, just depending on their own entry requirements. Yes. So in Dublin, those are RCSI, there's UCD and Trinity College, and then there's University College Cork over in Cork offering medicine, and then the University of Galway as well. Um, so those are the five undergraduate medical schools. In terms of the application, you make the application through the CAO and then students also have to sit what's called a HPAT, which is the Health okay. Professions Admissions Test. And they would sit that usually in the February of their leaving certificate year. Okay, yeah. and can we talk a bit more then about the HPAT if you don't yeah, mind? Yeah, sure. What does that kind of revolve around? Sure, so it's, um, it's a test that's designed to sort of assess the students' like life skills that they've developed that they've developed okay. over their so life. it's different to the academic test. It's tests. not an academic test, no. Right. So it's not something that students need to study for. The idea of it is that it's assessing their competencies to become a good doctor down the line. Okay. So there's three different sections to it. It looks at things like verbal reasoning, non-verbal reasoning, pattern analysis. So the key when preparing for the HPAT is practice. Right. Um, so students, when they sign up for the HPAT, they'll get access to practice tests online. Oh, wow. Like the, the theory test for driving yeah, exactly, nearly. Yeah, exactly. So really important that they do those practice tests, get familiar with the layout of the Brilliant. HPAT, with the timing of it, all of that, um, just to get themselves comfortable then for actually sitting it. Okay. Yeah. And then other than the HPAT, what kind of entry requirements would people be looking at? Yeah, so it would really, like matriculation-wise, um, you know, it depends on the... On the, on the university but generally it's you know Irish English maths obviously unless they have an exemption in Irish usually a third language then okay. and then it would be the sciences so in RCSI um, we have a six-year and a five-year medicine track right so for entry to five-year medicine students need to have two sciences so one being chemistry with a minimum of a H4 okay. and then they need to have either physics or biology with a H4 Wow. So then, but for six year medicine, we'd be looking just for one science. Okay. So that because that's an extra year at the beginning where they're doing a lot of science related programs, they yes. don't need to have the two sciences necessarily going in. Yeah. And then preparing for a career in the biopharma industry and advanced therapeutic technologies yeah. at RCSI. Can we talk a bit about yeah, that? Of course. As well? So that's a, pr a new program that was launched a couple of years ago in 2022 Brilliant. in response to demand from the pharmaceutical and the biopharmaceutical sector in Ireland, which, as you know, is, is very large. It's a yes. huge employer in Ireland. Um, so it's a four year Bachelor of Science degree. Um, it's a mixture of clinical science. So students will learn um, about things like pharmacology, uh, drug design, you know, developing uh, therapies and things like that. But they're also going to be learning about all the latest technologies and developments in the healthcare industry. So okay. things like connected health, so like the Fitbits that we wear or heart right. monitors, things like that. Okay. They're going to be looking at AI, precision medicine, which is, you know, yeah. a cutting edge field of medicine now where um, they're developing really tailored therapies for diseases um, okay. where you know it's not sort of a one-size-fits-all approach say if they're treating um, a cancer patient this is more tailored where they're looking at the actual makeup of the patient's disease and how they can treat that in the most effective way Wow! so it's for students that program will be for students who are interested in science and maths and technology who are interested in healthcare but maybe don't necessarily want to be working with patients on a day-to-day -day basis yes. it's more preparing them for a career in the pharmaceutical or the biopharmaceutical industry. Okay, yeah. so there are different routes around things. Yeah. And that seems like a very modern, like advanced course and program for anyone who's for into sure. the technology side yes. of things. Yeah. Um, it involves a work placement as well, which is great. So they get an brilliant. eight month work placement in year three. So, okay. you know, they're ready to hit the ground running now when they graduate. So you're getting yeah. hands on experience exactly. as well. Exactly. That's fantastic. Now, Claire, as you know, here at yeah. Next Gen, we have students of all ages and we also have mature entry students here yeah. as well. So can we talk about alternative entry routes Absolutely. to the RCSI programs, graduate and mature entries? Yeah. yeah, of course. And you know, that's something that we really do want to get across. And it's really important for students to remember that, you know, they can pin a lot on the CAO and on their leaving cert, but it's, you know, that's not, that's not the only way into their chosen career. And yeah. it's really important to remember that. So 
all, you know, our courses, so medicine, pharmacy, physiotherapy, advanced therapeutic technologies, we have graduate and mature entry routes for all of those. Okay. So for example, graduate entry medicine is a four year accelerated medicine degree that students can come into from any discipline. So once they've done a level eight degree in any area, it could be history, it could be engineering, economics, whatever it okay. is, they basically, once they get what's like a two one or an upper second class honors in that degree, and then they sit the GAMSAT, which is more of a scientific admissions exam, right. they can apply then through the CAO for that graduate entry route. Okay. Uh, graduate entry and mature entry, pharmacy, physiotherapy, advanced therapeutics, that's all direct application to RCSI and that's, for mature entry, it's a more holistic route, so it's looking at their life experience, their work experience. Okay. Um, so it's not based on leaving sort of points or anything like that. Right. We obviously look for them to meet minimum um, subject requirements, but they can also then present what's called an access to science program in lieu of the leaving cert. So there's okay. loads of different access routes. The most important thing to do is if you're considering a career in healthcare, have a look at our website and look at the different entry routes that are there and give us a shout as well. Yeah. Brilliant. It's great to hear that there's so many different ways yeah. around it. I suppose like everything, you have to find your own path in it. That's it, exactly. Can we talk about pharmacy then specifically yeah. at RCSI? Yeah, of course. Yeah, so pharmacy is a great career path yeah. for students. It's a five-year degree um, okay. in, in Ireland. It's a five-year degree in any yeah. of the pharmacy schools. The last year being a master's level qualification. Right. So it means that students, they sit their pre-registration exam at the end and they're fully qualified pharmacists then upon graduation. Brilliant. And, you know, there's a huge demand for pharmacists in Ireland. It's a very lucrative career in Ireland as yeah. well you know students are coming out directly into into work so they can work you know obviously in community pharmacy but there's opportunities in hospital pharmacy okay. again in the pharmaceutical industry and in R&D um, and in academia as well research there's loads of different areas that they can go into with that degree brilliant yeah. so it's, it's a wide variety of possibilities Massive out there variety. for it yeah absolutely Fantastic. and it's a great you know it's a there's a lot of practical work experience built into the degree as well so they do a four month placement in year four an eight month placement in year five great they actually start their first placement in their second year so they're really straight out there okay. meeting the public meeting patients and getting the that best way to experience. do it yeah exactly and can we talk a little bit then about physiotherapy for yeah. anyone who's interested in that here yeah today. so that's a really popular program as well at RCSI so that's a four-year Bachelor of Science and again students are fully qualified physiotherapists upon graduation so it's approved by all the different regulatory bodies right. and it's a very hands-on course because in order to qualify students need to do over a thousand hours of clinical training okay so year one or, or what we call the foundation year students yeah. get you know get familiar with the sciences they're learning about anatomy year two yes. then they move into what we call our movement lab where they start working with patients so we would bring in simulated patients so these are members of the public that would come in and act as patients so that the oh, students wow. are starting to learn how to communicate with them how to Brilliant. work with them deal with them you know the different exercises all of that and then years three and four students will spend a lot of their time out on practical placements okay. so in hospitals private practice clinics rehab centers all of that around the country yeah. to get that hands-on work experience that they need that is great yeah. like that's the proper social experience yeah. that you need when you're going into a job like 100%. this yeah no you need that patient interaction yeah. you need to know how to communicate with patients how to work with them and it's a great course you know and in the final year they get an opportunity to learn a bit more about the different specialties within physio because okay. obviously I think you think physiotherapy sometimes you might think injury sport in injuries things yeah. like that but in fact physios are working across all areas of the healthcare sector so they'll be that with you know, um, young patients, pediatric patients. Yeah. We that you know students can focus on uh, women's health and different issues around that. Brilliant. Um, on working with older people or people who are recovering from things like strokes, uh, you know, yes. um, and issues like that. So that's where you know physio comes into play across all areas of the healthcare sector. Brilliant. Yeah. It's great to hear the different career opportunities and the fact that everything is so wide. There's so yeah. many possibilities. Sure. Would anyone in the audience like to ask Claire a question? Claire, if anyone wants to follow up with yeah. you afterwards, where can they head to ask yeah, you a question? Yeah, sure. So they can pop to our booth. So we're going to be here today and tomorrow at the event. Um, they can contact us at any time at admissions at rcsi.com. Brilliant. Um, visit our website. There's also an opportunity on the website to chat to current students to get an insight into how they're finding their course. So loads of different ways to contact us. And then we'll be having a series of mini open days. Our main open day as well will be in January 2025. Fantastic. Right. Claire, thank you so much no for worries, joining me. You. Can we give Claire a round of applause for joining us today on Thanks stage? Thanks a million. Thanks a million, Claire. Okay. So next up at half 12, we're going to have um, LOETB Apprenticeship and Services. So stay tuned if you want to listen to them. They'll be back here at half 12. Thanks, guys.